Welcome fifth graders to a new and exciting 2022-23 school year. Hope you had a great summer. I did. Obviously you know me, I'm Mr. Sievert. I had you all for FIAD last year. So um, I didn't get to know you very, very well last year. I only saw you a little bit here and there per week. Uh, and this year you will get to spend a lot more time with each other. And I'm looking forward to a great school year. Uh, to let you get to know me just a little bit better, even though you knew me from last year, um, I went to a grade school in Janesville, Wisconsin called St. Matthew's Lutheran School, where my mother was the kindergarten teacher, my father was the pastor. So very similar to a school um, that we have here, but mine was in Janesville, Wisconsin. From that grade school, um, I went to what was called Northwestern Preparatory at the time. Uh, it's called Luther Preparatory right now. The Fitzsimmons kids go there, so um, Principal Fitzsimmons kids go there. Uh, Cooper may go there. He's the one holding the camera right now. Uh, we're still not sure where he's going. We'll figure it out eventually. He's either going to prep or he'll go to Wisconsin Lutheran High School. So uh, from there, um, I was actually supposed to go to the University of Wisconsin to play baseball on a scholarship they had. But believe it or not, they dropped their baseball program the year I was going there and they'd only honor my scholarship for a year. So I was fortunate enough to be able to play professional baseball for nine years, eight of it with the Toronto Blue Jays, as you can see in that picture right there. After baseball, um, that's the weird thing, I went to college after baseball and went to Wisconsin Lutheran College where I coached their baseball team and uh, luckily enough, they helped pay for some of my tuition that uh, I graduated from Wisconsin Lutheran College. From there, I got my first job outside in the teaching profession. Uh, that would be at the Hope Schools, which was a Wells school at the time. Uh, spent three years there as a teacher and an administration. To tell you the truth, I was a associate principal and a dean of students. And continued there with my dean of student role on to Garden Homes Lutheran School, who's in our conference. We'll see him in soccer, we'll see him in basketball this year. Uh, but I taught there for a year and did uh, was the dean of students there. Um, before going on actually to the public school where I spent 14 years in the Muskego Public School uh, District um, at a school called Lake Danoon Middle School. And from there, uh, two years ago, um, I received the call to come here, teach fifth grade at St. Paul's, and now I'm your teacher this year. Uh, in addition to that, you will see my family here. Uh, that guy you should recognize. Cooper Sievert's another one you should recognize, again, holding the camera. Thank you, Cooper. Uh, he'll be in eighth grade this year. Uh, my daughter, Savannah, she just graduated from Wisconsin Lutheran High School this past year and is now a freshman at UWM Milwaukee, where she's on a soccer scholarship and playing soccer there. And then the glue that holds us all together, um, the rock star Jody Sievert is my wife. So fifth grade, it's a big transition for you. Um, it's right in between, in my mind, the elementary school and before you get into the middle school um, to where you're going to be departmentalized. Uh, in the Muskego Norway School Public System, um, tell you the truth, fifth grade is part of that middle school. Um, but it's a big transition year, so there are higher expectations. Each year you go up in a grade level, there is. So starting with homework, yeah, you'll have a little bit more homework this year, I would guess, than you have in fourth and third. But tell you the truth, I'm not a person who hammers up and piles up a lot of homework for you. Tell you the truth, on the weekends, I don't like giving you a lot of homework on the weekends because I don't want to do a lot of homework on the weekends. I have to prepare for the next week, but... Most of it you will get done before the weekend, um, if not all of it. Uh, what you can expect every day, Monday through Thursday for sure, is you'll have math and reading for sure every single time. Other things will come periodically, like memory work and Word of God and spelling and alike, but you're familiar with similar expectations in fourth grade. It won't be too much more this year in fifth grade. Um, I also do have a class website, parents, it'll help you. I'm gonna show you a little bit of that class website. Uh, on that class website, um, this would be my home page that I have. There's not much on the home page. Uh, the thing that kids will tease me and we'll celebrate together at times is uh, there's 288 days until next summer begins. I'll have a countdown tomorrow, it'll be 287. Um, this homework link, uh, I will delete these all, but I just shared this so you have an example. Um, Word of God, it shows you what's due the next day. Math, they'll be reading what's due. Grammar, you see not a lot of assignments. Sometimes you have an assignment there. Spelling twice a week. Um, spelling tests will be on Friday only. I don't have any pre-test or alike. Um, but all the things there, including even any kind of extras I might have, like if we have chapel or alike, if we're singing on Sunday, that stuff will be there in 
um, my homework. There is a links for kids that I will also include. Um, here they'll have study guides um, and the like. Um, but I ask you, don't go ahead and look at those study guides now because it's not going to make sense to you. And even as we're going along, the study guides will be used when we're done with a unit at the end of a quarter or uh, a unit that you'll click on that and then I'll give you a quizlet that'll help you prepare for any kind of tests we have. Um, IXL is a math program the kids are used to from last year. Um, and there's other things like extra math, work on your multiplication facts. They're quick links to get to places that you would like, even social studies, study guides and the like. So uh, these are quick links for the kids that I'll share with them. Um, and finally, parents, this might help you. Uh, there's a contact page. Um, I'll share this class website with you. So this link here where you can easily contact me has my cell phone number, has school's number, has my email on it. Um, I have a policy that I'm available 24 hours a day. So get a hold of me anytime you need to. I don't want any excuses. I am here to help your kid. And if you have any concerns or questions um, or your child does, reach out to me and I'll get back to you as quick as I possibly can. And we'll problem solve things so we can have a great experience here in fifth grade. Um, finally, that takes me to um, my last page. Uh, two things before school starts if you can. Uh, one, bring a book the first day if you can. One, it lets me know what kind of books your kids like to read. I like that. Two, I want them to create a habit to always have a book in their desk. Um, tell you the truth, we'll eventually have two. One of them will be what I call an on-deck book. So if they finish one book, they can move right on to the next book. So try to bring one that first day if you can. If you forget, it'll be all right. We're probably not reading that first day anyway, but I want them to get in the habit of it. And the second thing is, if you're out grocery shopping this weekend or anytime soon, grab a paper bag. One of my first week's projects that I have for them is to put items about themselves uh, into that brown paper bag that I'll explain what specific items I want in there. They'll decorate that brown paper bag, but they need one. I have a few extra if some people forget, but try to grab one from the grocery store if you can. I'm looking forward to a great fifth grade year. Um, my biggest thing about being a teacher is building rapport with kids because how can I have high expectations if your kid doesn't trust me? Um, I'll build that rapport. We'll have a great fun year and looking forward to it.